Oh, cool. You know, the cars were coming out of their shells this early. Just a shell. It's like bugging it. <laughs> My name is Anthony Lewis, and I'm a shopaholic. <sighs> I'm joking, I've got no damn addiction. Well, technically I have because all of that crap was picked up over the last week and I'm going to show you all of it. Every single thing. <sighs> Brew yourself some coffee, grab the strongest liquor in your household, we're in this for the long run. Especially me, because I have to edit this stupid thing. Alright. <sighs> it's going to be like it used to be, where I say insert footage here and the footage shall be inserted. So, I'll get comfortable. Let's start this. Firstly, we have this. And what is this? This is a bag of goodies. Roll the damn footage, son. Alright, so you can't see it, but there's a thrift store down there. One that I usually go to and don't find anything. Let's go. Mark them down. If I already have these, I have Tomb Raider 2, I know that. So I can put that one back. That was cool. Mm. It's cramped in here.
And welcome back. Alright, now in this bag is not just games that I picked up at that thrift store, but games that I've also picked up over the course of... In fact, I picked these up over the course of last week and this week. So, let's get started. Mm. Firstly, like you saw in that thrift store, I picked up copies of... Damn, Deglare. Ah, let me fix that for us. That's a bit better. Firstly, I picked up Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. And yes, I do have a copy somewhere. But I'm not exactly sure where it is, but if anybody wants this, it's up for trade. Just be warned, it is a form of rental. Not bad. Um, these are supposed to be $3 each, but the nice lady at the counter gave me to them for 2 because they're old. Thank you, old lady at counter. And the next one, the last one, I guess. Um, I was going to get Tomb Raider 2, as you saw in the footage, but I put it back. I already have... I have a copy of it somewhere. I must. But, the big box copy of the original Tomb Raider, I do not have. And this was just the disc, unfortunately. No manuals, no bonus discs or anything. I imagine it came with a demo or something. But they were $2 each, so if anybody wants either of those, PM me, we can work out a trade. What else? Ah, videos. I got these videos, two for a dollar, and this is just random stuff. Two videos I've been looking for for a while. Have you ever had that thing where you're looking for a certain series of things for the longest time, and then as soon as you find one of them, you start finding the rest? Well, this is how I've been going. I found that Hellraiser video, I found a Clockwork Orange video not long after, and now I finally have the Warriors come out to play! Horrible, horrible scene, but everyone seems to say it's the best scene in the movie, so who am I to judge? And the one I'm really excited about, the Warriors is nothing compared to this one. The Island of Dr. Muro or Moro? Moro? I don't remember. I just remember this is about a doctor that invites people over to his exclusive island and then kidnaps them and turns them into half human, half animal creatures. And the Simpsons did a parody, parody of it called The Island of Dr. Hibbert, where Marge got turned into a blue leopard and became a crazed sex machine. It was a good episode. <laughs> and from Cash Converters, I bought a few things. I spent a total of 20 bucks in Cash Converters, and I spent a lot of money over the past week. But a lot of this stuff I'm going to trade into EB Games or just outright sell. So, and you won't blame me after you see the price. Firstly, for the PlayStation 1 copy of Steel Rain. Didn't have this bad boy. Um, looks like a budget title, but it's by Sony Computer Interactive, so I don't know. And it's about a tank that kills things. Yay! And for $7, looked it up on the EB Games website. They sell it for 35 so Dead Island Game of the Year Edition, they sell it for 35 pre-owned. And I'm going to start saying that now because I don't remember his name, but he questioned my Halo 4 thing, and then I told him the price that it sells for 
pre-owned an EB Games and he flipped his shit. <laughs> Not really flipped his shit, just the... It was kind of hard to swallow, that's what she said. But Dead Island Game of the Year Edition for 7 bucks, and they sell this one for, I think, 35 as well. Skyrim! But it's a it's not the first release of Skyrim, it's the one that has the Kinect thing. Where you can shout Fusro Da into your Kinect and it'll do the Fusro Da. And that's complete with the map. Good guy Skyrim coming with a map. So that was ten bucks. Should make my money back on that one. And that is all that is in the bag of goodies, so I also bought this awesome Rugrats bag. I love Rugrats. It's it's just a show I always liked, and it was only three dollars. So you know, addictions. <laughs> All right, roll the footage for the next one. It's six a.m. and there's fog over there. And I'm going to a single garage sale. Alright, I'll get footage there. Hmm. Six AM and people still got here before me. How? <sighs> people are crazy. These people are all insane. And I love every single one of them. Yay, furniture. That looks awesome. Take that. Thank 
Yeah. And welcome back everyone. Now, this deal took course over the place of six hours. And you might have seen the footage of me looking at those PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, or you might not. I didn't get very good footage because there was a little girl that was four or five years old just standing in front of them looking like an idiot. And, you know, I'm not going to openly film something where that's in the shot, so... <laughs> I don't want people to get the wrong idea, especially not in public. But, the stuff you probably did see... Yay, bead art, except it's not beads, it's just styrofoam. It's pretty cool, it's not actually Mario related, but it looks so damn close, and to make sure it, stand, it stands up, I put sticky tape all over it, which, if I hold it back here, you can't even notice. So, I'm going to hang it up there, and all of my PlayStation 2 games have been removed from there, and they are on the floor in front of me, so I need to get a shelf to... To store them, I guess. That was only 50 cents. This was two bucks, but I was happy to pay that because it's a big box PC game, and I usually just trade these into Gauntlet. They give me a pretty good price on them, then I get something I actually want, so... Dungeon Siege, made by Microsoft Game Studios before Square Enix bought the license and produced it into shit. That was Dungeon Siege 3. Ah, I hate that game so much. Unfortunately, this didn't come with, I believe this came with a huge strategy guide, it only came with manual and game, so that's okay though. Good old guy at Gauntlet will still take him. <sighs> Something that, uh, this I bought, this I bought the first time I went. I went back later and got another lot of stuff, so I'll show you that. After this, I didn't get any footage for it. Mr. Cover was saying I should buy this, so... I saw it for... Five bucks, and I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. And it's Lock Quest. Lock Quest. There's the price tag, five bucks. I thought it was a good price. Um, I played it a little. Honestly, not my kind of game. It's, it's cool, and I do like strategy games, but... It just seems like there's so much hand-holding in this, and I played it for an hour, and I was still arse-deep in tutorials, so... I don't know, I'll probably trade it into EB Games at some point. Thanks for the recommendation, though. Yeah. For, um... Son of a bitch, she charged me two bucks for this. Should have been 50 cents. Whatever, but for two dollars... Fallout and Fallout 2, I absolutely, I cannot play these games, I don't know why, but once again, jolly old man at Gauntlet, he'll like them. And for only two bucks, I'm sure it'll be good. Unless someone else wants that, um, I did install it onto my computer and it works well, so, um, but on my computer there's this weird colour issue where a lot of the VGA graphics are... I'll call them inverted because black will come up as white and really dark grey will come up as pink, so... Now, all of the dungeons and stuff are bright pink. Fun. And the last thing I bought, which I thought was absolutely awesome, and I believe this was just 50 cents. Captain Underpants. Um, this is something that I used to read when I was just a little... Um, what's the word? When I was a lad. A lad. A ladin? No, just a lad. And he is Captain Underpants, a school principal who, after being hypnotized, once uttered... No, wait. After being hypnotized, whenever he hears a... Whenever he hears a... He turns into Captain Underpants, the hero of the world. See? Captain Underpants. It's just so cool, how can I not buy it? And that was everything everything from that lot, and that ended up costing me a total of $8.50, so what are we on now? 
8.28. We're on $36 at the moment. And it's only going to rise and rise and rise. And from there we go to $46 with the next thing I got. As I said, I went back to that location like nine hours later. And they still had a few things there. It was a school fete, so they had to keep it open while the fete was still going on. And there was a lovely fireworks display at the end, so... This entire bag cost me five bucks, and then I made a five dollar donation, so ten dollars total. And I'll bring out the video games. And there's nothing too amazing in here, but... Just the fact that there, was, that there were so many meant I just couldn't leave it behind. And I'm glad that I bought them. I've probably kept the majority of them because a lot of them are ones I don't have, so... These ones. I also bought some books. And the only one I'll show is... That's Entertainment World Expo 88. I have a fascination with World Expo 88, which was... Which I believe is the only recent World Expo to be within the confines of Australia. And if there's ever another one, I'm going. So it'll be fun to read through that. But, as I said, total, these cost me $10. And they have Time Crisis, without the disc now. Good game, I already have it, so if anybody wants it, that anyone will, because it's missing that, but I'll trade it in somewhere. And from there, it's just crap. They have... I have now, iToy Kinetic. Cricket 07. Do you like my cricket, but... I don't know. It's a PlayStation 2 game. Smackdown, just bring it. Actually a really good game. Most wrestling games are fairly decent, except for WCW Nitro on the PlayStation 1. Enter the Matrix, Platinum Label, but it's nice and complete. Brute Force, which as far as I'm concerned is an essential for the Xbox, which means I will be keeping it. Smackdown vs Raw 2009 featuring EC Dub. No manual, but I already have this, so that'll be it for trade. And one I do not believe I have, 007 Agent Under Fire, which, once again, is complete. And it's a platinum label, but that's okay. So, all of those games for a total of $10, I don't believe that's bad, and we're up to $46 at the moment. Yeah. And I don't have any footage for this stuff, which means I'll show it later and show stuff that I do have footage for. <clears throat> Alright. You might notice all of the games that were in my trade pile are gone. Every single one of them. I took them to Game Traders. And... Alright, so for the first time in ages I'm going to Game Traders and I have... A bunch of stuff to trade, mostly just that stuff you saw a few videos back that were off to the side of my table, so... Uh, let's go. See if we can find anything we want. Hooray, game traders. I wonder how much stuff they'll have. I have stuff to trade. <laughs> a Spyro costume. Out of my way. Great game. Oh, that's brand new. Not into Monster Hunter. Alright, you don't want to be on camera? 
but I go around all of Brisbane looking for games, yeah. trying to find like good deals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And there's a huge collecting community on YouTube that pretty much just exists for that reason. Oh, cool. And, like we show stuff to each other and just say, "Hey, I got a deal. You jelly, bro." Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's pretty cool. It is pretty great. That is so cool. Oh. I've been meaning to get a life there, so. Someday that NES will be mine. Uh, a good selection of games. Yeah, he's got a... Might as well shift through. SNES stuff. I am. Alright, this is my pile at the moment. It'll probably build. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I don't have the money. I'd love to get Caldica. Then pass that you too. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of these I have. I know I don't have Rascal. They have multiple copies of Ocarina of Time. Hmm. Copy of Facebook 2000 someday. Hey. Oh, wait, will you guys be stocking the Retron 5? The which one? The Retron 5. Uh, look, I'll have to discuss that one with Steve. Ah, all right. he's, yeah, he's the, he's the boss man. Have you heard of it? I haven't personally, but you know. It's supposed to be amazing. It's, um, you know how there's 
you know about the Retro 3 or 2 or anything like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard about it. Yeah, well, it's like that, except it plays everything on it. So, from NES, any region, yeah. to N64, any region. Yeah. Uh, what about that, too? And ended up getting $54 and some odd cents, so I stocked up on some replacement cases and some stuff I've been looking for. Most prominently, the Sega Light Phaser, and in fact, this didn't cost me any money. It was all in trades. But then again, I did, I did buy all of that stuff that I was going to trade. So you work it out, damn it. For nine ninety five, but it came out free because of the trades. And I tested this out on Rambo Three, and it does work. But I was amazed. I don't have a single game that is primarily used with the Sega Light Phaser. Crazy. I'll have to look for one. I bought a controller for $4.95 for the Sega Mega Drive. And it looks like you can screw something in there to make it more of like an arcade stick. But it's a six button pad and I'm always looking out for those. You know, it's just easier to play fighting games with them. Some Nintendo 64 games that I got on the cheap. Multi Racing Championship, and just remember all of these came out to no money because they were trades. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought half of them. Top Gear Overdrive, I hear the Top Gear games are actually really good, and there is some label damage on there, and there's a cash converter stickers for 20 bucks on the back, which. I won't be able to get off no matter what I do. I cannot get that off without ruining the label, so I won't try. What kind of idiot would write the name of the game on the game? Yeah, I understand that. Fucking things should have had end labels to begin with. But... M. Crystal, do not write on your games or we be coming for you. <laughs> but... Rocket on Wheels, I think that's called? Yeah, Rocket Robot on Wheels. Looks horrible. Absolutely horrible. And then... Um, I bought some PlayStation 1 games. Would have been $15 total, but once again, trades. Too Extreme, which I don't believe I had. Rallycross 2, which I don't believe I have. Independence Day, which I do have, so if anyone wants to trade that. And Rascal, which I know I do not have. Man, my floor is just getting cluttered with this crap, and... I'll show you this. I got a Guncom Gun 2 the other day. The other day, it was probably a month ago. And I just got Guncom 2 the game. I got the game that was supposed to come with the gun, so that's cool. Looks like you're shooting zombies and zombies and robots and stuff like that. It's fun. I'm going to go close that door because you've probably been hearing it squeak on its hinges the entire time. But guess who has two thumbs and isn't refilming this damn video? And then the rest of this was just replacement cases, so... <clears throat> Let me get them all out. They were doing buy two, get one free on their PlayStation 2 games. PlayStation 2 original Xbox and GameCube games, so... I took the opportunity to... stock up on some cases that I could use. And we have nine here. I won't individually list them. In fact, I will. All of those, and they were all a buck each, but it would have been a dollar fifty each because of the trades. No, not dollar fifty. Seventy-five cents each because of the trades. Or, oh, fuck's sake, you guys work it out. <laughs> yeah, you guys work it out. We have one copy of iToy Play, two copies of iToy Play, three copies of iToy Play. Four copies of iToy Play. Five copies of iToy Play. Six copies of iToy Play. 
one copy of iToy Play 2, two copies of iToy Play 2, and one copy of Premier Manager 2005-2006. And for anyone who is interested, there's the receipt to prove my purchases. And where's the trade-ins? Um, there. Trade purchase, 57 bucks. So I didn't pay anything for that, man. Not a cent. Um, when me and my mom were driving around trying to get home, we got lost and we found the greatest array of places. There was a St. Vincent de Paul's, a Salvation Army, a thrift store, and a lifeline. So, just... Not a thrift store, a cash converter and a lifeline. So, four stores geared towards thrifty people just in the same area. And I'll show you the footage for them. Roll it. This place is awesome. There's a lifeline, a cash converters, a Vinnie's and a Salvo. Screw where I live. Let's move into the parking lot. <laughs> Just live here. Go to Salvo's every single day. Mm. Oh yeah. Thanks. Let's go. A Frankenstein candle. That's coming with me. Okay, you saw what I bought from Lifeline. Now, we'll leave those two places to last. Let's go to cash converters, which you cannot see. So that cash converters did have a lot of stuff, but uh, you know, I'm trying to save money. So I only bought Mario Kart, which it's on the DS, which I can probably just quickly sell to the other stores.
we're back. And so from the first place, just for <laughs> two bucks, man, how can you not? Frankie! It's Frankenstein's monster, it's a candle. And my mom said I am never allowed to use this in the house. <laughs> so that will always just be existent. I'm sorry, Frankie. I can't be the one to burn you. <laughs> and at the cash converters, a thing that I plan to trade in. Proof of purchase there. Come on. Are you focusing? Yes you are, Mario Kart DS. Which I plan to trade in because I already have my own copy. And for two dollars in the box, just a kind of brick thing. It's interesting, but it's one of those crappy Chinese handhelds that you get that have... It says 99,999 in one, but it's really just 10 games repeated, but it does work. It has Tetris on it. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds, thousands of copies of Tetris. But for only $2, it's in the box, so... Uh, it's not worth anything, but it's cool to just get, you know? Um, ooh. As I've mentioned in previous videos, my mom does a lot of charity work, and... When magazines don't sell by the end of the month, when they get the new copies in, they throw out the old copies and they put all of the stuff that came with the magazines, like toys or samples or something, and they give them to my mom, who then gives them to charity. And there's certain things that she can't give to charities, so... You know, it's like, um, she sends them over to places like Papua New Guinea and there's a certain, there's certain things that they can't have, like they can't have anything that can be used to fashion into a weapon, they can't have anything that could be used to gamble, stuff like that, so... And I got a few of these before, so... She gave me... Three Pokemon, which next time I do a trade with someone I shall be sending one of those to them. I'm never gonna open them, so... That three Nintendo thing buttons, which once again you could, um, they have pins on them so you could make them into sharp objects and stab people. And they have no need for a keychain, so we have a Koopa Trooper, Red Shell. Oh, bang! Did I break it? I have a car launcher. <laughs> because why the hell not? I'll just keep it up here for the rest of my toys. And yes, I still do buy toys. Um... Alright. I don't know how long this video has been going on for, but this is the last lot of stuff. Finally, the last lot of... Last lot of things. And I have spent a ton of money this week. A total of... In fact, it was Father's Day, and so I spent the day with my dad, and it's Father's Day today, and I just spent the day with him, so... He bought me this. In fact... Yeah, we were in cash converters and he picked out some stuff and he paid for my thing because why not? I gave him some presents. And it is a beast PlayStation 2. <laughs> I call the big one beasts. And that would have been 10 bucks for me if he hadn't have paid for it. Thank you very much, sir. And it's one thing I never knew. There's an expansion thing on the back of it that you can just open up. And I always knew you could put a hard drive on them, but I never knew where, so that's cool. I'll be testing that out later. If it doesn't work, eBay. They sell on eBay. Don't ask me why. And then, two random PlayStation 1 games. I didn't get any footage for these. 
Circuit Breakers, three bucks, and Warzone, 2100 for three bucks. So, uh, I don't want to edit this stupid thing, <laughs> but I have to because it's too big to just load up in parts. So, I won't waste any of your time, any more of your time. So, Seeger of my house, bidding you farewell. If you sat through all of this, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> nah, thanks for sitting through it. Um, and keep an eye out for... I'm going to be uploading a contest video. So keep an eye out for that. So, there's a seagull in my house bidding you farewell. Fuck. That's cool. to get them back up there though. Oh, I might buy that for the story. Again, yeah, I'd buy that for the story. Okay, that sucked. It was like they had just put out a bunch of new stuff but all of it was stuff that was too expensive for me. <sighs> oh well. They did over here and saying they were going to mark down some stuff tomorrow, so I don't know. Maybe there'll be something here next week I want. <laughs>